We have a special guest here today, Mr. Ken from Stripe Life. Go ahead and start off with uh, maybe a little intro about yourself here. All right. So uh, my name's Ken with Stripe Life Lawn Care. Um, I've been doing lawn care for about nine seasons now, kind of like a part-time serious side hustle, you know, licensed and insured. I've had as high as about 25 weekly clients to as low as three. Back in 2018, I saw a need for a more positive lawn care group. You know, I, I was like everybody else trying to ask questions on how to, you know, become a, a better lawn care guy. And, and I didn't know everything. And when I would jump into a group or something and ask a basic question, I would get bombarded with negative stuff and called names. And I was like, man, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of blades to use. So <laughs> uh, at, at my full-time job, I was like, you know what, I'm going to take my name and my logo and I'm going to create a group and run it and it's going to be, you know, a place people want to go to. And, you know, flash forward now, I think we've, we've established a pretty positive brand that's out there um, and it's filled with positivity and give backs and uh, giveaways. And I think we got a pretty cool thing going right now after years of hard work and hustling online, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's definitely a lot of motivation and you were speaking of giveaways. So the new 93 yeah. truck giveaway. Yeah. So last year, so I, I've, I've been at the Expo, Equip Expo in Kentucky three years in a row now. And all three years since I've been a brand ambassador and working with Hustler Turf, they have set me up with a really cool table, basically like a booth inside their booth. And it's been awesome. And last year, uh, I was like, hey, is it cool if I bring a couple Yetis and we do like a giveaway? And he's like, as long as it's free, you know, I was like, 100%. Like, I'm not charging because I was like, I'll get raffle tickets. He's like, as long as it's free, because you're not even like supposed to be in our booth. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, and I was like, I was like, no problem. So last year we did it and it was so much bigger than we thought it was going to be. We probably had a thousand plus people in the Hustler booth. Oh, wow. And it was it was insane and we weren't prepared for it, you know, and that's the year that the DeWalt mower burned down on day one. So it was already a lit expo right out of the gate. And uh, we didn't have a megaphone. We didn't really know what was going on. The head of hustler was like, man, DeWalt says you're going to have like 20 people at your little Yeti thing. And we had a thousand plus people. We had like Corey Ballard stand up on the Yetis yelling out winners. And it was like a show and it was cool. And then this year, you know, we we're going to do the same thing. So I had even more instead of like five Yetis, we had 10 Yetis uh, at this year's event. And we brought a megaphone. We planned it out better. We got some of the biggest names, I think, in the game, positive guys, influencers, all like, would you know, hold up the stuff. And it was it was like a concert. And uh, I also was like, look, we got to do something else because this is the 40th year. You know, everybody's doing something. So I came up with the idea to give away a truck. And everybody thought I was crazy. And again, Hustler's like, you can't give away a truck. You're not even supposed to be in our booth. And uh, <laughs> I said, look, it's 100% free. He's like, how the hell are you going to do this 100% free? I was like, I got no idea, man, but just just relax. So uh, we we put it in the Yak, the booth. We teamed up with them. We got it in a booth at the show. And it was uh, – did you go to the expo this year? I did not, know, But I've oh, seen man. all the, all the so, stuff about man, it on Instagram. It, so – the, the thing that makes the Yeti giveaway so much fun um, two years in a row now is that like I sit there at that table and I shake hands. I talk to everybody. I, I joke with them. I make a personal connection, whether they know me or not. I'm, I'm talking to them. I'm joking with them. Hey, if you're going to be here at three, you might as well be here. You know, we're going to have a Taylor Swift concert right in the <laughs> middle here. And uh, we probably had no lie, like 2000 people in that Hustler booth this year. And it was, it was unreal. Um, and then right after that ended, you know, we went and stood in the back of the 93 truck in the Yakta booth and probably had another 500 people out there in the rain. Um, and we gave that away and that was really cool. So when I get back, I'm bored, you know, all I've been doing majority, majority of my content has been videoing and talking about this 93 Ford. So I get back home and I'm almost depressed. I'm like, like, what the hell do I do? You know, the season's coming to an end. Uh, and then I'm on marketplace looking for little mini bikes and pit bikes and stuff like everybody else. And I see a 93 Ford regular cab. That's like five minutes from my house. I was like, Holy crap. Like this is destiny. So this one I bought on a whim right before Christmas, you know, I got kids and everybody, I just thinks, 
I, I think people think like if you're a lawn care influencer or whatever you want to call people like me that spend too much time online, um, <laughs> they think we're rich, you know, they, oh, well, hey, you work with Hustler or, or Yacht or Ferris or Xmark or whoever, they think you're, because you have a brand deal or you're a brand ambassador, they're like, man, this guy's loaded. And that is not the case. You know, like uh, I work multiple jobs even, even today and I do good because I'm a hustler, but it's not, you know, what people think it is. So like, it was a lot easier to get brands to help me sponsor that truck. And if you looked at the expo truck, you know, it's like a NASCAR, we had stickers on it and that's <laughs> yeah. what, that's what helped me not pay for it all out of pocket. But I guess I just kind of was too, uh, too naive to think I could pull it off twice because man, not that many people are jumping on this Christmas one and it's got me paranoid, but we're still going to pull it off. Everybody's like, you should just push it to your spring mower giveaway. And I was like, no, we're going to, we're going to keep it for Christmas, but this one is, uh, this one's definitely, uh, costing me, you know, <laughs> pretty decent, a pretty decent penny. Yeah. I mean, it's awesome to give away all that stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be cool, you know, for sure. That, yeah, that is, it gives such good, goodwill into the audience and, and it gives so much, uh, to the people that win it. And that's really awesome. Yeah. I mean, we gave away, so this year we gave away, we had like a spring mower giveaway event it was like our first big, big giveaway. I mean, I've been giving away hats and stickers and blowers and you name it, like, you know, for, for years and, you know, a seven, $800 blower, that's a big giveaway, hundred percent free, you know, no entry yeah. fee, no nothing. But this year I set it up and I gave away a Hustler Raptor. We had like five or six prizes in the spring, like a, you know, a 9010T was the second prize or third prize. We had a Mega Cart, which was like $1,300. And that was really cool. And um, I, I did it on TikTok Live and, you know, just kind of winging everything. And I called the grand prize winner before the TikTok Live. And I said, hey, you know, is this, I think his name was Thomas um, Amano. And I was like, hey, is this is this Thomas? And he's like, yeah, who's this? And I was like, this is Ken with Stripe Life Lawn Care. I was like, do you know who I am? And he's like, yeah, I do. What's up? And I was like, well, look, we got that uh, announcement tonight for the spring giveaway. And I said, I just wanted to call the grand prize winner ahead of time. And he was like freaking out, man. And it was, it was so cool. He drove, I think it was like eight or nine hours from upstate New York. Uh, he rented like a U-Haul truck because he was afraid to drive a trailer nine hours. Plus, I would, you know, I don't want to drive a trailer that long either. Um, but it was it was really cool, you know. And uh, I talked to him a little bit now, and and that was cool. And then we we helped Trady give away another mower, and then we did the truck and stuff. So it's it's definitely been a a year, you know, with a ton of giveaways. And just in the group and Instagram alone, we give away Cujos all the time and blowers and, and all sorts of different stuff yeti stuff all the time so that's the kind of thing we try to maintain you know we if we talk about a product i want to give away something as well you know we we force those companies to give stuff away too if they want to participate you know to keep it to keep it fun yeah that's awesome so hopping into the questions here Shoot. more about the the business side so why did you decide to stay as a solo mower instead of you know going into growing a bigger business or something like that so like i i've been a pawnbroker on the side like that was like my full-time job in baltimore city for 10 plus years and you know i've been doing it so long and I, um you know i make good money doing it it's like the thing i can do to make the most money for my family so i've always cut on the side and then i got you know uh my liability insurance and then i set up my llc and then like i've been doing social media and eventually started to get some marketing contracts you could say and and it's always been like a passion and, you know, it's one of those things that's tough. And, and after so many years of doing it like part time and then doing the social media, which takes up a ton of time, I got fed up with my one job that I was at and I quit and I went full time for like three months. You know, it was just different. And then I was going to continue to be full time and try to grow that actual cutting side of things. And then um, like that company's biggest competitor was like, hey, you know, we heard you're available. If you want to work three days a week, we'll pay you this. And I was like, oh, OK, wow. Uh, so, you know, when you when you have a family and you have bills and you have stuff, you kind of got to go to what is the easiest and, and what you can provide the most for. And I'm kind of glad I did, because 
you know, once you go full time, stuff changes, you know, like it, it, you're not you're not enjoying it as much as you do as like a weekend warrior, per se, or a part time guy. I've always wanted to pay my car bills and my mortgage from cutting. And if I could do that, everything else I did was, you know, icing on the cake. And that's what I've been doing for about nine years. And I tried this year early on. It's, it's It was a rough year for me. You know, this year was filled with the highest highs and the lowest lows of my life. And I broke my foot in January, uh, just simply power walking on the treadmill. Uh, the doctor said I was too muscular for the treadmill. <laughs> and I just broke, I, I, I broke my foot. And, you know, obviously if they tell, if they tell somebody like, you know, me that, that makes their money on their feet, they're like, Oh, you know, Hey, don't do anything for two months. I'm like, Oh yeah, sure. So I didn't listen. I didn't wear a boot spring spring started you know so you got cleanups you got accounts starting you're trimming you're doing everything and my foot just got worse and worse and it's not one of those things that you can just kind of you know not do something it's like you have to walk to do anything and every step felt like it like if my foot would just go numb if you've ever tick tock on the toilet for too long and your foot goes numb that's kind of what it felt like walking around trimming <laughs> So I found a helper. I did my first ever helper. And I'm like, man, I'm going to, this kid's good. He was only 17, but he was good. And, um, you know, I was trying to think of an IA, hey, you know, let me, maybe this is the guy that's going to start, you know, helping me and take over. And uh, I won't really get into it. He's a great guy, great helper, but just wasn't like the direction that I kind of wanted to go with. And it's very hard to, to go from a one truck truck to a business, you know, a full blown multiple trucks, multiple people. And that's the hardest thing in any industry is finding people that you trust, finding people that can do the same quality and caliber of work. Um, and, you know, if, if it was that easy, everybody would do it. So these guys that have multiple trucks and different operations, I have much respect for them. Um, but just kind of, I, I think because I got that offer from that other shop, it kind of just made me like, just continue the way I've always done it. Like part-time this, make my money doing this. And then, you know, the the marketing side of things and, and the social side of things has kind of been fun this year. Like, you know, for years I've hustled the group and tried to establish my name. Like I've never set out to be like a Brian's Lawn Care or, you know, like uh, Blake, you know, these guys have like legitimate big lawn care companies. And, and my thing is, and my goal for Stripe Life is to create a positive brand you know like i want people to look at that stripe life logo and if there's a brand attached to it if we're an ambassador to something that you know and trust that that's a good trusted product that you know like for instance like i i took in two e electric zero turns last year and you know you're talking thirty five thousand dollar mowers that are yours to keep if you want to make videos on them and i gave them both back you know so there's not a lot of people uh, that I think would do that. I think people would be like, oh, my God, $35,000. That's more than my car. Uh, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to tell you? And for me, I've, I've been trying to build a trusted brand for so long that I was like, look, these things are not ready yet. They're very cool. Uh, and, 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 you know, political aside, you know, like because we don't talk about politics in, in the group. We keep it business. But it was like every time I, I made a video, I was a liberal Joe Biden loving Democrat. And I was like, look, you know, th none of that matters. The thing is, is that a $10,000, 27 horsepower Kawasaki will cut better and will do better in every aspect of the job. So how can I tell you that this $35,000 EV is better? And I couldn't. And so I gave those back, which was it was a high and low. It was so cool to, to land a contract for like 40 grand from a brand and then get another one from another brand for 40. You're talking 80 grand. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, you know, this is amazing. And then like a couple weeks later, it was like, it was like, you know, I'm talking to my dad, like, what do I do? Like, these things are just not there. And he's like, give it back. And I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> like, this is the biggest deal I ever signed. And he's like, give it back. So, you know, uh, that was tough, but you know, your name and, and stuff, just like anything in life is more important than any kind of money you can get. But as soon as I gave those back, um, 
you know, which was tough. I, I was instantly rewarded with cooler deals and better deals that, that I actually felt comfortable with. So, you know, life has a way of, of rewarding you when you do the right thing. You know, we hustled through this year. I got through the whole year and then the expo and the truck giveaway. And, uh, you know, here we are. So everything has a way of working out if you just, you know, keep your nose to it and do the right thing. That's awesome. And going through all those challenges, what are some things that you've um, maybe found that can motivate you, you know, keep you going through all that stuff? Well, what I think is, is easy for, for me and for anyone that has kids is, you know, like uh, my son turned 16 yesterday, which was, which was crazy. I made a video. I was like, how did this happen? Because I turned 16 yesterday too. And, <laughs> you know, it, it sneaks up on you, but I honestly think if I didn't, I had my son at 21 and if I didn't have my son at 21, I'm not saying I'd be some dirt ball loser, but man, I'd probably be living in a trailer with a couple dirt bikes right now only because I wouldn't have been motivated to be so successful. And I'm not successful. Like I, I'm not some, I have a nice house. I've got a cool following online. I've got a, a good amount of friends. Uh, so I'm successful to the, the fact that I have healthy kids and I have a nice roof over my head. Um, but I wouldn't have got to where I am today if I didn't have kids, uh, because I think it just, you know, honestly, you know, you're, you're working harder for somebody else. So that, that's definitely, uh, the key to everything right there is, is working hard. And, you know, my son likes stuff. I've had 40 vehicles in my life and that's my weakness. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I might drink two or three times a year, you know, at, at best, but man, I spend money on cars and stupid stuff. I don't need like anybody else. And so it's like my son, you know, you want to spoil your kids too. And, you know, so it's like I had to pay for his toys and my toys. And so definitely having kids will, will make you uh, work a little bit harder. That's really insightful.